What's up guys? Welcome to another Build a Brake Garage episode. Today's video, we're going to go ahead and flush the brakes on Spike. Also teach you guys how to store a car for the winter. So first things first, we have to go ahead and get Spike in the garage and like, and boom, he's in the garage. So next thing to do is get up in the air, get all the wheels off, and then I'm going to start prepping my tool that I can use to flush brakes with. So the reason why this is important to do is your brakes, brake, your brake fluid accumulates water over time and that water can lead to making it boil over a lot faster and that'll make brake fade really bad and could eventually make you not want to not be able to stop. So good uh, maintenance. I'm just going to go ahead and flush spikes out, see if I can get a firmer brake pedal and uh, yeah, take you guys along for a ride. Okay, and just like that, all the wheels are off the car. The next thing to do is to make sure that your master cylinder is topped off to a full level and also locate all your bleeder valves and all your brakes. On the discs, they're right here. On the drums, they're right back here, even though you can't see it. So next thing to do is to go ahead and grab my power bleeder load that up with some fluid and uh, find the appropriate wrenches to crack those bleeders open. Okay, so I got the power bleeder hooked up. Let me explain to you guys how this thing is. So basically, this right here is a power bleeder. So this applies pressure into the brake system. So you can go ahead and flush the brakes without having to do the constant pedal motion with the uh, second man. This literally makes it a one man job, which is nice because I can do it by myself and I know that it does a good job. So I'm gonna go ahead and brake all four uh, free and uh, yeah, we'll uh, see if we can flush all this brake fluid out using one quart of the brake fluid. So uh, I'll check it with you guys once I get it all flushed. Okay, so I got spike all done. Uh, got all the fluid flushed out and everything. It's pretty uneventful. Doesn't really feel like it changed anything, but uh, at least there's new, nice new fluid in there with no moisture, so that's good. On to the second topic of today's video is uh, storing a vehicle. So. Obviously, it's the last uh, last bit of the year, most unfun time for any northern car guy. It's time to put away the cars. So what I recommend doing, what I normally do, is I check all my tire pressure makes that are all filled. That's first easy one. Second is I normally give it a brand new oil change to store it so that way uh, it protects the engine from getting any kind of rust or anything uh, over the winter. I normally throw on a battery tender. Uh, you pick one up at Harbor Freight for like 10 bucks and uh, it'll just keep your battery topped off throughout the winter so you're not having to worry about it uh, dying on you. The one thing also is putting in a good fuel stabilizer. Uh, I use the Lucas stuff for ethanol since I'm running E85 in this car and uh, that just makes sure that the gas stays stable and doesn't separate through uh, storage because E85 is mixed with gas and it'll separate between the two uh, over a period of time so this keeps it from doing that and causing problems in the future. Done. But other than that, uh, that's pretty much uh, the best way to do it. You can do a car cover or not. Uh, that just keeps all the dust and everything off, which uh, makes it nice come springtime that you have a nice clean car instead of having to give it a bath right off the bat. All right, well, sorry for the short video. Uh, hopefully this was informative for you. If it was, please go ahead and give us a like and uh, be sure to subscribe also. Please, if you have suggestions, please write them in the comments below of what kind of videos you want us to do next. Kind of running out of ideas here and your comments are greatly appreciated when it comes to suggesting videos. Try to keep it on the easy side. I mean, doing motor swaps and stuff. I mean, like we're trying to not spend a whole crap ton of money on this. So, uh, you know, try to you know, think of some videos that are easy, um, like, you know, doing a brake flush or like storing your vehicle or something like that. So try to keep it on the rational side. Thank you for watching uh, and you guys have a great day. Peace.